I'm Dr. Ted Rothstein from Portland, Oregon. I will demonstrate how to exercise the neck muscles simplified. Central to good posture is to keep your head centered on your first cervical vertebrae, which is called the atlas, named after the mythical titan god who supports the planet. Your head weighs about 13 pounds. Therefore, if it is not centered over your vertebrae, that is lopsided or misaligned, it will eventually have severe deleterious effects on other systems of your body. For every inch your head is postured off its vertical axis, it adds an additional 10 pounds your torso has to support. That additional malpositioned weight is without doubt very harmful. Just observe how persons of any age look when they are stooped over with heads postured forwards, like this. I always pay attention to others, if only to remind me how much older they look. It can be observed in young persons as well. The cause of it can be respiratory problems and, unconsciously, the person postures head forward just to keep their airway open. But most often, bad posture manifests because you are unaware of it. Indeed, you need to constantly be reminded of it so that if and when you are not posturing properly, your body makes you aware of that. This sense of self-posture is called proprioception. Exercise helps you gain and keep that sense of your position in space. When I am not standing centered erect with shoulders slightly back, my sense of erectness alarm goes off and I correct my posture. That is because I do exercise sufficiently to keep my neck and shoulder back muscles properly toned. You can think of your neck muscles as struts or, or guide wires the ones that keep your head falling forward or back and the muscles that keep your head from falling to the right or to the left. When these muscles are not all functioning perfectly together, your head will automatically lean or tilt. Goals of the exercises are to strengthen the muscles that prevent your head from falling forward, which are located in the back of your of the neck and to strengthen the muscles that prevent your head from falling backward located more towards the front of your neck the goals of the exercises are also are to strengthen the muscles that prevent your head from falling to your right side located on the left side of the neck and to strengthen the muscles that prevent your head from falling to your left side uh, located on the right side. So here are the exercises. First, vertical head lifts from a prone position, that is beginning with the head facing down, and then vertical head lifts from a, a supine position beginning with your head facing up. I would suggest you begin with 50 reps of each exercise demonstrated. You begin this exercise in this position. And you keep your head facing forward. And you lift your head up like this. When you lift your head up, these muscles are being exercised. So watch. Remember, every time you lift your head, you're lifting 13 pounds. Keep your eyes forward. Head to your shoulder and straighten up. Head to your shoulder and straighten up. Head to your shoulder and straighten up. I'll lean forward to get even more weight onto that muscle. from side to straight. 
from side to straight. It's when you straighten up that the muscle comes into action. So if you do this 100 times at 13 pounds per time, you have put 1,300 pounds of weight on your neck. Now I'll do it to the other side. Bend over. That's the position. And from that position, you straighten up. Keep your eyes straight ahead. The muscles on this side now are being strengthened. I would do 50 reps each side of this exercise. Down, up, tilt down, come up. And the more you start out that way, In this next exercise, this is these are called um, vertical head lifts from a prone position. My forearms are placed evenly against the table. And in this exercise, the head, and only the head, is lifted up and down. You raise your head, you lower your head, you raise your head as far as you can. Lower and raise and lower and raise and lower and raise not your shoulders your shoulders never move you just head your head only does its lifting and this strengthens the muscles in the back of your head or the muscles that pull your head backwards one two three four, five, six. And remember, every time you do that, you're lifting 13 pounds into the air. So, now I'm going to show you the same exercise while on the floor and lifting your head from the floor upwards. That would be the prone position. So, that's, that's it. This last exercise is designed to strengthen front muscles of your neck, and it goes like this. You keep your shoulders pinned to the floor, and you simply elevate your head. One, two, three, four, five, seven. You can do this speed at whatever you like. I like this speed. I usually find I could do almost a couple of hundred with effort. I can do a hundred fairly easy. So this is head elevations. From a, from a supine position, if I said prone before, I made a mistake. This is the supine position. Prone is facing down, supine is facing up. So, I hope you enjoy doing these exercises. I assure you that your sense of proprioception will be vastly increased and you will then realize when you are not in the proper posture, especially with your neck. Thank you.